Greetings, this is September 6 at 12 p.m. and we are on the watch for new sunspots. They might be throwing some gamma our way and look for aurora borealis if you can see it above the smoke and cloud cover. And back on our planet we are looking at a forest fire watch. We just had that eclipse and hurricanes and meteors shooting overhead, apparently a new superbug, our own local forest fires, and sometimes it may just seem a little overwhelming. Just remember that life is a precious and powerful force and it will survive. Let's jump to windy now and I'm seeing a breeze coming from the south at five kilometers an hour. Uh, it's gonna stay like this for the next day uh, then Thursday afternoon it may begin to shift and start to come from the north. It's The wind's going to slowly rotate. Looking at the forecast model, it may actually start coming from the west, southwest, and then move over to the north. Then on, it looks like Friday, early, uh, the wind will start picking up velocity. And we are seeing precipitation moving towards us on the calendar. Looking at a second computer model, wind velocities are about the same, but the wind direction is more consistent from the southeast south. Uh, it is showing that precipitation approaching Friday afternoon through Saturday, and it's showing precipitation approaching on Monday. We are now looking at the Begby Cam, uh, featured by Drive BC, and this is showing haze in the distance towards 93 mile, 100 mile house. I can't see anything over the horizon and it appears that smoke is lingering in the trees. If we switch to the Sheridan cam looking west towards Lone Butte, 93 mile, again that haze in the distance, but these eastern south eastern breezes are pushing the smoke away and to the northwest. Looking at the Big Bar cam, same sort of situation. There may be smoldering going on around High Heum and in the Bonaparte Plateau. It's getting pushed up over the highway in a haze. Uh, this is the latest update from the VIIRS system. As I said in the last video, I'm not a big fan of the little fire flame icons. I'd prefer something more clinical. Just a dot, thank you. Uh, however, it's working and it's fast, so the link will be below. But first, please notice no movement on, to the west on these fire flanks, uh, especially around the area north of Tin Cup Lake. Uh, there's no movement towards Green Lake on this system. However, we have to be very wary of what's obscured by clouds and smoke. Uh, we may not be perceiving all data. Also, these can be off 500 meters a kilometer. Uh, this is the 375 meter calibration, so they could be off a bit. Uh, it's all north of North Bonaparte Road, except for two hot spots south. And there are reports that this is part of a controlled burn strategy. Moving eastwards to the area between Watch Lake, Sheridan, Little Green, and the Rayfield, no apparent expansion and actually appears to be fewer hot spots overall. I'm looking on the eastern side of this fire flank to determine if this could be a consistent line of a fire guard. There have been reports of controlled ignition in the area to reduce fuel and establish a hard perimeter. We're moving to Young Lake now. Uh, seeing approximately three or four of these hotspot indications. They are southwest of the lake. There is no apparent growth on this system. We are moving further south now, east of High Heum, west of Chartrand Lake, and looking at these fire pockets, they appear to remain in position with no expansion. This system we can actually see uh, where the intensity is and we'll have to come back and do a radiative scan when that's available. We can switch over to the NRC and look at the most recent hotspots that were being displayed at the time of this update at 9.41 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. We'll remove the perimeter map and I can see some isolated outlying hotspots on the eastern flank towards the north 
and to the southwest, uh, south of that uh, burn area on the top of Mount Jim. If we go to just the 12 and 6 hours, the most recent times, we can see a lot of activity. There's patterning, it looks like controlled infrared, over top of random natural groupings. So there's forest active, what appears to be active forest fire with controlled ignitions going on in the area. Let's move south and see what activity there is between Young Lake and Egan Lake, uh, south of the North Bonaparte Road. Not a lot of infrared being displayed, those uh, hot spots southwest of Young Lake, and then what's been on the approach from the ray field. There was a expanded evacuation order in this area. There may be um, activity or volatility going on. Uh, we may not be seeing it because of smoke or cloud. So you want to go and check the official bulletins and alerts and make sure that uh, you're up to date. Let's move further south again. Uh, we're looking east of High Heam, west of Chartrand again, around the Brigade Road between uh, the road and the pipeline. There's no expansion being displayed on this system. We might only be seeing the fringes due to uh, infrared being obscured by smoke or haze. There are random, it appears random infrared within there and some controlled patterning over top. I don't see any increase in approach towards Chartrand Lake and just an overall reduction, you know, it's looking better. So overall I'm seeing a lot of uh, control strategies at work. I'm seeing no expansion, nothing approaching towards the south of Green Lake, and overall a reduction in the amount of infrared being displayed. This may be obscured, so we want to verify with multiple sources. Check the official alerts and bulletins down below. Thank you for watching and I'll be back when I have new information. Be safe everyone.